Gosh, there's so much to filmmaking, uh, and I love it. I love filmmaking, and I, I'm I, I'm considered to be a bit jaded and a bit cynical when it comes to filmmaking, but I'm a nuts and bolts guy. I'm the guy that you hired to handle all the nuts and bolts. You, as a producer, writer, director, you're the dreamer, and that's okay. It's okay to be the dreamer. It's okay to drink the Kool-Aid. It's okay to be completely immersed in your project. Just understand that um, it's probably not going to happen the way you want it to. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I got a phone call from some people. They wanted me to come down and meet them, and they they called me up and they said, you know, you know, you're a really experienced line producer, and we waited to call you because we didn't want to waste your time. And I said, okay, great. Uh, and I met them uh, in a. I met them in a karate dojo, which I I thought was their office, but it was a karate dojo. Uh, and the long and the short of the story is that they sat there and when they told me they didn't want to waste my time, my first thought was, oh, they have money. They know that, that line producers cost money and that they have money and they want me to do a budget, a schedule, and possibly do their project. And I get there and the words I typically hear, when, the, when I typically hear these words, I, I realize that there's no money involved is, well, everybody who reads the project really loves the project, and everybody is really behind the project. And that's when I know they're going to ask me to do a freebie. And I get that a lot. You know what? I'll tell you what. Have I done freebies? Yes, I have. Have I done budgets and schedules for people knowing that I probably won't get paid? Yeah, I have. I've done charity work. But it is charity work because a budget and a schedule can take anywhere from a week to three or four weeks to complete. And it's a lot of work, it's a lot of research. And it's, it's So when you have these people who call you up and ask you for their freebies, um, you can see them, they're dreamers. And they have this concept of how they're going to be the next big thing. And I love it, I'm, I'm glad they can feel that way. I, on the other hand, am the nuts and bolts guy. And I'm the reality guy, and I'm the one to kind of burst the bubble and say, well, that's great, but it doesn't really work that way. Um, you will find that there are a lot of people out there that will not do freebies at all. And really, it depends on how much work I have, uh, if I have anything going on or anything coming up that I'll, I will do charity work. It depends on if uh, you can get me to drink the Kool-Aid and uh, believe in your project. Um, and how you represent yourself to me for me to do that freebie work for you. Um, but it's rare because my time is valuable and a line producer's time is valuable uh, because our job is and our income is based upon our experiences and our expertise and uh, freebies don't pay the bills. Um, and I am all about helping young filmmakers get their projects made. And I will give you all kinds of time and advice, and I'll sit with you over numerous cups of coffee and, and ask me all the questions you want. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to give my time. A couple of weeks ago, I was asked by the Austin Film Commission to come out and sp speak to uh, about 50 people that were in their PA training program. And... It's great to see all these bright-eyed people just, you know, enthralled with the film business and, and, and chomping at the bit to become part of the mystery that is filmmaking. But at the end of the day, it's my job to kind of bring them all back down to reality. And it doesn't matter whether you're a PA, just starting out, or if you're a producer. There are harsh realities in this business, and you have to understand that. And you have to understand that... Um, out of the thousands and thousands and thousands of people that want to become writers, directors, producers, a very small percentage of people actually get to do it. And uh, it doesn't necessarily equate to how talented you are. It equates to who you know and how persistent you are at getting your name 
and getting your face out there in the public and meeting the right people. Because you can have the absolute most incredible script in the world, but if you don't know anybody who can get in front of the right people, it's just going to be a script and that's all it ever will be.